Now to your money and the empty shelves Americans are finding at the grocery store. Tonight, from COVID to the weather, one expert calling it the perfect storm of reasons behind what we're seeing. Here's ABC's Victor Okendel. Tonight, the new round of grocery shortages, sending some stores across the country scrambling to restock shelves. The shelves are pretty bare. There's no meat, no toilet paper. It's just crazy. Experts blaming issues, including Omicron-related staffing shortages for stores and suppliers, supply chain backlogs due to the pandemic, more people eating at home, and soaring freight costs from a lack of truckers and recent extreme weather. All of these factors happening all at once is a perfect storm. Shortages and headaches for the consumer that's going out there. I went in there to get like mayonnaise and I've been actually trying to get one jar for the past month and it hasn't been there. Every time I come, it's never there. The Consumer Brands Association finding American grocery stores typically have 7 to 10 percent of their items out of stock at any given time. Right now, that number is at about 15% for food and beverage products. Smaller may be better when it comes to getting the product that you need. The smaller grocery stores are very nimble. They get more deliveries at a more frequent rate. And Aldi, a major supermarket chain, apologized to customers this week because several items were not in stock. The company is blaming shipping delays. They say that they're working around the clock to fix it. Wait. Victor Okendo, our thanks to you tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.